Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to another episode of Coffee and Conversation. I'm Solar Gray, the Cinematic Sorcerer, and I am here today with Jared Kirshner from Magic City Comics, Games, and various other things. Like, this place is amazing, man. How you doing? I'm doing great. Nice to be here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're saying, hey, like, I know you didn't expect this whole thing coming down. It's like, oh, yeah, guys, coming down for Hero Clicks. He might be doing some filming and all that stuff. No, right. It's like, no, this is like a real interview. This is awesome. I, I've never played Hero Clicks. It sounds and looks like amazing. I used to play D&D as a kid. and uh, Oh, seriously? Yeah, so this is like right up my alley. Oh, yeah. Well, Hero Clicks is a tabletop miniatures game, and it, again, just like it's just the fighting part from the RPGs. Okay. Um, and we do a lot of RPG stuff with this channel, like a lot All right. of RPG stuff with this yeah. channel. I'm going to be we'll totally be into this. <laughs> awesome. But <clears throat> not here to talk about Hero Clicks. We're here to talk about your store. Okay, let's do it. This place is just amazing. Oh, thank you. Um, you guys are going to see, we're going to be running some footage of a walkthrough, and we're sitting down with everybody that has a, has a stake in the company here. And you run the part of the store that's concerned with? Uh, well, I uh, I own the building, uh -huh. so uh, oh okay. So yeah, so the, this is the building. The reason we're able to do this is because I do because I own the joint. Okay. And um, so basically, um, I have been for a while, uh, for a while. I do wholesale magic, which means we sell um, to places like Disneyland, Knott's Berry Farm. Uh, we now, sell magic all around the world. When you say wholesale magic, do you mean Magic the Gathering or prestidigitation, like pulling rabbits out of hats? I, exactly, pull the rabbit <laughs> out of the hat. Um, you know, uh, uh, David Blaine, uh, stuff like that. Oh, um, dude, well, David I'm, Copperfield. I'm a Blackstone fan. Oh, okay, Blackstone. I, I'm Harry Blackstone. Perfect. That was actually and my Harry dad. Uh, Blackstone Senior was um, my dad's uh, favorite magician. It was the first magician he ever saw when he was oh, yeah. about uh, six years old. Awesome. And that's what got him into magic. And um, he started Magic City about 1973. Oh wow! And we moved to uh, we moved to Paramount in the late 80s. Okay. And we bought this building. And I took over the I took over the business about 2005. Okay. Uh, full time. And um, so we've been going from there. So Magic City, uh, if you go to wholesalemagic.com, that's our actual website. Mm -hmm. um, and we do, uh, uh, like you said, pull the rabbit out of the hat, magic tricks, uh, close-up magic mostly. Oh, um, awesome. And then, um, and then from there, I, I love pinball. Okay. Um, I love comic books. Now, I notice you you say that you have a love for pinball. I do. Like, to let you guys know, and we're going to be, like I said, I'm going to be walking through um, and giving you guys footage of every single room here, because it's, like, it, it, it's like a labyrinth here. It, it's it, like, yes. <laughs> you, you walk in, and um, this is a very industrial area, which yes. is cool. Mm -hmm. um, so, much like a lot of other things in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. you wouldn't know it when you're driving by. Sure. And then you walk into this warehouse, and it's like you're walking into another dimension, and, which and that's, is awesome. You said the right <laughs> words, because that's what we're looking for. We're looking for um, – so basically um, how I look at it is that, you know, all of the things that I've loved uh, growing up, comic books, uh, magic. Um, I was born into magic, but I still have a love for it. Um, you know, I played D&D &D as a kid. Okay. Um, I, didn't, I didn't follow through as an adult, which, <laughs> you know, it, but I do play – Tons of board games. Um, oh, one we're of my you back. yeah, you back in the D &D. one we're of my favorite right uh, board games is Small World. Oh, dude, um, yeah. so that's kind of I I'm I'm assuming this is very Small World world ish. I know it's not the exact same thing, <laughs> but um, but I love Small. It's like one of my favorite board games. Um, Pandemic. Um, you know, you name it. I love board games. We have board game night at uh, in our family. I have a um, an 11 year old and a 18 year old, and awesome. we've been playing board games since. Uh, since uh, they were, you know, actually before. My wife and I were playing board games <laughs> <laughs> before they came around. So, um, so yeah, so I just have a love for those things. And um, I love pinball. Okay. And uh, I love comic books. And uh, so I thought, hey, why not bring all the things I love to my, to my building and, and, and just go, have a go at it? Well, so, that is amazing. This so, is, like I said, my socks were blown off. Oh, I'm so well, thank glad you. that Fion... I mean, oh, Fion has been, like, just an amazing... Like, he's just, like, transformed this place very quickly. We've all worked very hard. Um, uh, my other partner, Ryan Monty, 
Um, Who you guys uh, will be hearing from soon, because he, he, there's a video that's going up with him as well. Yes, he's our uh, resident uh, t uh, pinball tech, so he fixes all the pinball machines. Um, I don't have, what I'm really looking for is I'm looking for a magic um, uh, a partner mm -hmm. to do the run the retail magic end of it, because I do do my wholesale business. And so we wanna we wanna um, we wanna have a full full experience with the magic shop. So we're still working real hard on getting getting all that done. Cool. So we're they're doing uh, they're doing uh, uh, showing around the people around uh, around the building right now. Oh so, yeah, because this so, is another soft grand opening. Yes, so. another soft grand opening. Yeah. Uh, so they're showing people around the building right now. So that uh, is awesome. This is you can't see it, but there's a room full of pops in here, and uh, <laughs> I'm sure you'll see it real soon. So. Oh yeah, they they're going to. So um so yeah you're so what you're saying is you're primarily the magic and board game and comic you were the overall guy you're the big boss you're, I, I guess I'm I'm just kind of like <laughs> I yeah I'm the puppet pulling the strings <laughs> <laughs> so no I'm I'm just kind of like I'm just here I'm I I I'm an observe and I I want to play oh and, you gonna. <laughs> um and I want to uh, enjoy the space I really you know I don't have a lot of time so I wanted to bring everything to me. <laughs> and uh, that way, that way, I don't have to go out to the world to go find all these things. And you know, honestly, like um, we have a lack of comic book shops. We have a lack of, you know, there's no pinball place. The only pinball places to play pinball is um, there's like there's one in, in Azusa and there's one in um, Santa Ana. Oh, great yeah. places, great places to play pinball. Don't get me wrong. But, but that's a lot of gas that, to get there. If yes, you're anywhere it's, in central Los Angeles. Yes, it's a pinball <laughs> desert here right now. Um, there's some barcades opening up, but they are adult only. Um, yeah, there's not so, much for the kids. And that's one of the things I really like that you've done with this place is that you have made it whole family friendly. Yeah, we Almost want it to be like kid friendly. Almost like you want your whole family here. Maybe, maybe we might be saying that. You know, <laughs> that the kids are running around and my wife's running around here somewhere. So she's everyone's here right now. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, we wanted a kid friendly place. And Fion and I were talking about doing what we're going to be calling a happiness hour, which is going to be from three to five thirty every day um, where kids can come. Kids can come in and basically do anything here and hang out. It's kind of an after school type thing. Oh, absolutely. Um, and then that way kids are, you know, off the street or whatever. Oh, yeah, and, they got, they got um, something They have a, a place to go yeah. between uh, now and, you know, from 3.30 or 3 to 5 o'clock. whenever their parents get off of work. Yeah, and This is really exactly. good for latchkey kids, guys. Like, yeah. You know, those of us whose parents were working, <laughs> we got the key to that. I would have loved to have a know. place like that when I was a kid. I mean, we had 7-Eleven. Oh so, yeah. Well, you know, you know back 7 then, though, was 7 great. 7-Eleven had video games. Video, yeah, 7-Eleven, <laughs> so. and we had the uh, the proprietor yelling at us all the time. Oh you yeah, know, you know, no hitting the games. You've been here for four hours. Where yeah. are you gonna buy something? We are. <laughs> yeah. We're putting as our we're, quarters. As we're sneaking, um, uh, what is it? The, uh, the the drink, the slushy drinks. Oh no no no, we're not sneaking anything. <laughs> we yeah, we didn't. Video we didn't sneak any slushies. And yeah. to spend all of our nickels that they wouldn't turn into yeah. quarters on right. non later yeah, and Mike yeah. and Ikes and lemon heads. Yes, yes. That's what we we were not stealing. We okay, that's, we, that's we had we our did. fair share of candy. Yeah, yeah. we did. We did. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, so, so much candy. Well, man, I want to thank you for showing us, like, for you know, opening up this place and showing us around. And um, again, guys, it's Magic City Comics and Games. It's off the 91 freeway. In yeah, we're between, close, we're close to all the freeways. Yeah. 91, 7, 10, 605, the yep. 105. Oh, yeah. We hit all the all, all the spots for the for the uh, uh, for the freeways. We are an industrial area, so. Mm -hmm. Um, the building looks industrial. It is industrial, so it's not we have it's not like retail friendly looking. But um, don't be afraid. Come on in. It's <laughs> magical. We're working on that part. Yeah. And uh, um, yeah. So and again, this is pretty much off of Alondra and Garfield. Yeah. Okay. Just just Google that, and you'll see all the stuff. So check yeah. out the website. You go if you Google uh, Magic City, we pop up. Um, if Magic Shop and Paramount, it'll pop up. Um, I'm sure Magic City uh, Comics will come up come up eventually if you type in pinball wizards i also have pinball well, wizards that's a twist uh, <laughs> pinballwizards.net so if you go to pinballwizards.net that's our uh, pinball website um, uh, and then uh, I, I said wholesalemagic.com is our mm -hmm. other our other website and um, and then of course facebook oh yeah uh, we're oh the book of face yes um, yeah facebook facebook.com i think you've heard of it it's uh, that wretched believe, hive of scum and villainy uh, yes, is what uh, we call it yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'd say Han Solo, but I'm, I'm supposed to say I'm supposed to say the other guy, right? Um, so, uh, so yeah, we're on Facebook, Pinball Wizards, um, and I know that uh, Fion's got either Action Cart on Facebook, and he might have 
Magic City and games. I'm not sure. I'm well, looking at him, but we'll he's have not. Him he's into me. We'll okay. have him say it. Because like so, I said, I'm getting all you guys today. So yeah, yeah you guys, um, come on down to this place. Again, a family-friendly place in central Los Angeles slash city of Paramount, which yes. is part of the greater Los Angeles area. Mm -hmm. And um, come down and say hey to all these guys. And for those of you guys from my neighborhood, they got caroms, y'all. They got a caroms board down here. Yeah, the caroms should be the caroms should be here years. tomorrow. They were supposed to be here today, and they didn't show up. So I couldn't find the set of caroms. But I did order the official caroms mm -hmm. from the pocket uh, golf game. Awesome. So I w we will have a new set of I think six caroms, <laughs> and uh, so we get you even get more. You can play with more people. But I really kill on that game. I mean, if you play me, I'm I'm like I think. Well, I can sink gonna, all nine. We're going to have to see about nah, that I, get, the time I, comes. I can't say right now I can sink all nine, but I got to a point where I was sinking all nine, no problem. Well, all right. <laughs> so, yeah. So, thank you guys for coming down and checking us out here. Um, leave comments. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Oh, like us, share, get your people down here, and... Hit yeah, the subscribe support us. button and the little bell. The, and if you like what we do, just come on down to um, our Patreon at patreon.com slash bid underscore p. And come on back down to Magic City Games, Toys, and, or sorry, Games and Comics. Comics, yeah. <coughs> and well, um, it's learn just, some magic tricks. It just, yeah, it's just a whole <laughs> lot of fun. One thing I do want to say is like um, the important thing is, um, yeah. okay, we'll get that, is that um, people show up, you know, mm -hmm. because. We have already had a lot of great comments yep. um, about, um, hey, this is really great that you've started this in Paramount, and um, we want to support it. So that's what we need. We need people to support it and be able to um, you know, keep this place going. Well, so that's what we want. That's what we're looking for. Well, so hopefully the ball's in their part. So court. you guys get the, <laughs> get the stuff out here. And remember, if anybody tells you guys that you can't have the hobbies that you like because of the circumstances of your birth, be it race, religion, creed, gender identity, sexual orientation, your disability, or your budget, you tell them that we said to take those cards and put them back in the deck. This is Solar Gray, the Cinematic Sorcerer, saying see you guys in our next episode of Coffee and Conversation from Magic City Games and Comics. Ha, ha, ha.